choose from? Hey, Ash, what's going on, buddy? I'm all right. Not much. I'm just on uh, Shutter.com. Never heard of it. Oh, boy, you don't know what you're missing. Basically, what you can do is you can stream any horror movie you want anytime you want. Just imagine watching horror movies all day long. I know, I know. It's a good way to be scared all the time. Actually, can you hold on one second? I hear something. Oh god, thank god. That was the scariest shit I've ever seen in my life. <sighs> Hi everyone, I'm Matthew Williams, and I've teamed up with Shudder, a streaming service dedicated to streaming nothing but horror films. They reached out and asked me to share some of my experiences of the first horror films that got me really, really scared. And for me, that had to be Stephen King's It. After watching that movie, I was scared. There was one scene where Pennywise the Clown from the movie It was in the sewer and this boy Georgie was looking down and trying to get his little boat back that fell into the sewer. Pennywise was using whatever he could to get the boy to come closer. And at the end of that scene, his mouth opens up and all these sharp teeth show up and pull the boy into the sewer. That plus a bunch of other scenes had me scared all night. I couldn't go anywhere without being around other people. I always thought Pennywise was going to come out from somewhere and take me with him. Now here's the thing. I've also asked two other of my good friends to share some of their experiences with horror movies from when they were younger. Hey, uh, have you seen my light? No, where did you have it? Wait. Wait, what's that? What's what? Did you, did you not hear that? No, what can you hear? Look, look, over here, over here, look, come. Don't move. Oh, shit! Ever since I was a little kid, I've had a peculiar fascination with horror probably because it's a form of escapism unlike anything else. These are worlds where things can exist that we can't comprehend, and when we're young, we believe. And that's why I think horror is and always will be in a class of its own. Like sci-fi, it allows us to free our thinking because simultaneously everything and nothing is real. For me, personally, the most random movie scared me, like one specific scene from Edward Scissorhands. There was something about the motion, the contrast of situations and sound design that freaked me out then I probably shouldn't have seen The Shining because I've never been the same since. But it wasn't film that took me away, but rather the potency of video games. Gone was watching, now I was the one in control and I couldn't hack it. I owe it all to Resident Evil 2. Nothing else has hit me as hard until the recent PT. It's one of the greatest horror experiences I've ever had. It was frighteningly visceral, but also messed you up psychologically. Guys and girls, thank you. And if you haven't, go and check out those movies because they are awesome. Can Spooky here, and you know what? It's it's way too dark. Give me a second. Okay, that's much better. Can you see here? My first sort of horror movie experience was actually not really a horror movie. It was sort of a longer TV show episode. It was the Nightmare Room by R. L. Stein, and the episode was Scareful: What You Wish For, and this totally tripped me out. Okay, so I was about ten or twelve, and I was watching this on my CRT TV, and I was like, Psh, horror movies, horror TV shows, they don't scare me, and this was my first time seeing one as well, so I had no clue what to expect. But I sat down, I started watching this, and throughout the episode I was just, I was just so scared. But I kept watching it, and I kept watching it. And what it's about is about a kid's doll that he got on his birthday that comes to life and tries to make him into a doll. Sorry to spoil it, but that's kind of what happens. It's super creepy, the way it's shot, the music, everything is so scary, and by the end of the episode, I was shaking. I literally had my eyes wide open, I was like, 
It was very, very frightening. I was absolutely mortified, terrified, traumatized. Till this day, I'm still a bit scared. And that's what's so cool and great about horror movies that they have the ability to actually influence the way you feel about something and make you actually physically scared. And that's basically it. So a huge thank you to Matt for actually reaching out to me to make this little experience video. Uh, I actually watched the episode again and I'm scared for the rest of my life. So don't come near me if you have a doll. Please stay away. Thank you, Matt. Peace. Thank you, Ash and Isaac, for sharing your first experiences. It's always interesting to hear some of people's first experiences with horror. Everybody's is totally different. Now, if you want to be scared all the time or maybe once a week, go check out Shudder. There are hundreds of titles to choose from. And even if you're an avid horror fan, I guarantee there's stuff on there you've never even heard of before. They have the biggest collection out of any streaming service out there, and it's only $5 a month. And if you're not sure what to watch, there are tons of categories to choose from, or you can check out Shudder.tv, where it's continuously playing a loop of one of those categories. So I guarantee you're going to land on something you've never heard of or never seen before. Now you can watch Shudder.com on your iOS device, on your Android device, you can stream it to your TV, or you can even watch it on your computer. Now, I do have a promo code for you guys. You get the first month for free. So even if you don't like the service, there's no strings attached, you can cancel it, and that's it. But I definitely suggest you check it out, give it a shot, and if you like it, it's only $5 a month. I'll place that link in the description down below. Anyways, guys, I want to hear some of your first experiences with horror in the comments below. Also, let me know if you have a subscription to Shutter already and what you think of it. And also, for my Canadians, it's coming out here in Canada very soon. Anyways, guys, that wraps this up. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, and I'll see everybody in the next video.